what's up guys today we're gonna to be opening up 10 pre-release kits aka building battles for sword and shield and today i have justin the professor with me what's up everyone how you doing let's go ahead and crack open this case see what's inside and we'll get to the contents of what is in each of these pre-release kits boom here we go here we have it the 10 pre-release kits we're gonna open this up real fast see what is inside i believe there's 10 kits in every case of building battles yep bam bam 10 kits one of four promos in it and then four packs inside each so travis you want to uh yeah thumb through that for us oh yes go ahead and put this up right here so it looks like we ended up getting the rillaboom on this one and you get four packs here so you get a stamped promo and i believe this is always an alt art too yep. So like this card is going to be unique to specifically this kit and then it looks like we get uh this is the bones as it were of oh nice kit. and you get the rillaboom to to sync with that one right and the reason why you have this for pokemon because the evolution lines are so very important and the biggest question everyone has is like i'm not really sure how a pre-release works and with you're getting this bones for for your deck that you're going to be building guarantees that you have the foundation to have a deck for yeah. the pre-release and the cool thing about this uh we'll start you want to start opening yeah, some of those see. packs too with yeah. me we uh you get to use anything you find in these pre-release kits for your to build your your kit so it's oh, super it's sweet um i love these this new pack art super awesome or these card arts they are Ooh, so clean looking band. Drampa. so what Ooh, would i do what do i do with these cards now that i got these out of this pack justin so you know you'd want to start sorting these probably by type um in order to start figuring out what you got a lot of oh. and start kind of figuring out you know what what the the core of your deck is kind of built around it looks like we're looking at kind of probably a grass deck i would say um, grass and, steel. and uh you know probably some steel and then you can always mix in colorless um pokemon in because those work with anything and then uh we kind of just go from here and try and keep opening everything and we'll just try and build maybe a core of a deck really quick and then we'll get into the rest of the the kits the kits i got a white coat on mine Ooh, greens on mine Hopefully you get some cool boys Ooh. in yours. Oh, we got a Victini oh, V to nice. use. So. so if you get something big like that, that Victini V here, um, is that something that's really important to your deck that you should be making? I know that you say we have grass and steel, but that's a fire. Yep. So what do we do about that? You know, it, he has a colorless attack, so we can kind of look at that and see if it might fit into what we're doing. Oh, okay. Maybe we could look at teching in some extra fire energies for it if it makes sense. Gotcha. But sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like you said, just it, it might be totally out of left field and mm -hmm. it just doesn't make sense for the deck. So you could just totally choose to set it aside and maybe you, you don't use it this time, but you have them for your collection next time or cool. something like yeah, that. Yeah, you got or, a new card. Or, or to trade someone after. There you go. Yeah. So. After the fact, not during. So typically most pre-releases do not allow any kind of trading beforehand before you go into play yep because you're trying it's be it's what's called a limited format so you okay. can only use what's in, you find inside of your box so whatever gotcha. is in here is only what you can use to build um usually the store provides energy for right. you too because you're building a 40 card deck rather than your your normal 60. Mm -hmm. um and then you're trying to just you know use whatever you can find to have the best deck and hopefully you win and a lot of stores do it to where or at least ours does and a lot of the ones i've been to do it to where if you do win rate reasonably well you get some extra packs at the end right um in addition to just coming and playing and hanging out right so which is super awesome now so for this deck it's a 40 card deck you said right yeah instead of your normal 60 like you would see it like a, a tournament or something like that so since this already has a good chunk of the bones of the cards in here without any energies typically you're only adding a, a handful a few cards from what you're opening out of your packs into it right Usually. there's only so many cards that could fit into it so for instance like this rhyhorn that we got here he doesn't really fit with our types he doesn't evolve for anything he's not really going to be something we'd be interested in right. versus uh something Maybe like this orangaroo yep. who is a colorless who has an ability once you turn you may switch your card from your hand to the top of your deck that's pretty pretty nice right yep. that could be like an honorable mention or consider considered card for your deck uh yeah it's to important to have bonds. basics to to survive hits and be out mm -hmm. there to you know maybe get you some extra things um but also you know you want to find some extra trainers sometimes and mm -hmm. usually you get lucky enough to get some uh this vitality band makes your damage it's kind of like a, a low-key muscle band if you remember the card back in the day it just adds 10 more damage to the active on whatever you're doing so um just kind of a good addition usually to the deck and i think there's already some probably in here there's usually some uh good well, maybe like not balls, in this one quick ball rotom bike this time 
you know, each one is different. You get some different trainers, but right. this time we got some uh, additional nice um, goodies in our packs to and add the, to it. And the other thing that's unique about uh, pre-release decks is you are not limited to the four card maximum. Typically, for instance, right. I would only be able to have four Rhyhorns in my deck, but in a pre-release, uh, I found with my own personal deck with the Ponyards that are in this, mm -hmm. uh, I actually pulled two Ponyards out of my oh, nice. um, my packs as well. So instead of like the, for instance, three that comes with the bones here, I added two more. So which you're able to get up to five in your yeah, deck. Yeah, I had five nice. ponyards in my in my uh, pre-release deck, which helped me out know, a lot. In this one, he actually does more damage by having more of those ponyards on your bench. So it actually helped you even it harder. Did. It did. It really did. It was really nice. That. So that and, was pretty sweet. And at, at a pre-release, the, the battles go very quick. Typically, they're a one of one. It's, it's a light competitive atmosphere. The people are just want to enjoy the new cards and experience them and just it's a it's a blast right it's it's a great event it's a perfect first event too because you mm -hmm. don't need anything coming into it you literally can walk in and just pay the 25 dollars mm -hmm. usually as what the event at least our event is and uh, you get everything you need to play and uh, it's always a great event and you always get more than your money's worth yeah every time too. so be on the lookout every about three and a half three months or so there's a new uh, a set release and with that becomes a new pre-release and here at Average Ape Comics and Games we always put out advertisements and events letting people know uh, when those events are going to be held right. what time so be on the lookout for those they're a blast tons of fun and we would hope to see you on the next installment of whatever the next set is going to be for Sword and Shield yep it should be a lot of fun we're looking forward to seeing you there if you are in town so what we're going to go ahead and go to now is we're going to speed through, crack open these bad boys here, the other nine kits, see what promos we had. We're not going to go through and open up the bones uh, for each of them. No, we'll see we'll what just, promos yeah, we got, just the promos. And we'll get to the packs and just see what we end up pulling. Sweet. Let's do it. Cool. So it looks like after we opened the other nine kits, we ended up with two Rillaboom, three Berserker, only one Frostmoth. And three, is it Sincino? Sincino, I think is how you Sincino. say it. Sincino. The baby was Mincino. Yep. Mincino. Mincino. Um, and this was actually pretty surprising. I feel like for the, the pre-release we had, I saw a lot more Frostmoths. So it's fairly random as to I think we saw Frostmoth and, and Rillaboom a lot. It was kind of a what lot, I was seeing when lot. walking around. Um, not as many Perserkers. Perserkers, I think, is probably good um, in the pre-release format, but not so great uh, for deck building, whereas some of these other guys... I think I think Frostmoth is definitely the best of them. That's mm -hmm. my that's my personal opinion. I think you you lean I, towards I, the Cincino. I, I, I lean to the Cincino just because I was a fan of Trade In Zorark. It's not quite the same. The ability is very similar. Discard a card, draw two. I'm a fan of draw mechanics. I always have been. Um, so yeah, th these are great great promos. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, I think just about every one of them is super playable. We'll see even with stage twos what what may happen there. I mean, we yeah. got. What's called Eggs Row coming coming back potentially here for uh, mm -hmm. stage two decks mm -hmm. uh, moving into the new format. So, you know, we never know what what could happen. Right, and I, we definitely have new support for um, stage twos that we didn't have in the past. It kind of made stage twos very difficult to use. Right. Whereas now with that support, they might be a whole lot more prevalent. Will allow for things like this to be much more active. So right. Shall we move in to open the packs? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I start off with the green coat here. Same. I got a reverse. I don't think we're going to see anything amazing there. Right. Reverse drizzle and a, a non-hollow uh, set of Love these, these new energies. Yeah, the energy new energies. Art. New energies Very are nice. in. Ooh, custom. Or Pokemon catcher, I guess. Very fun. Fun card to see coming back. Ooh, white code. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool. So I, I typically, right. yep. I typically like to, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the easier way. Right. Doing the old. Barrow seed. And right behind our reverse is going to be our hit. Let's see what we Silly Cobra. Oh, we got two Silly Cobras. Reverse Muna. Mana? Mana? Muna? Muna? And? Wobbuffet. Oh! So we got a Cramorant V and a Wobbuffet V. Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet! We got Cramorant V with uh, Beak Catch. Search your deck for up to two cards. Put them into your hand, then shovel your deck, and then Spit Shot. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 160 damage to one. Of your opponent's Pokemon, so, so similar to Venom Shot. Yeah, well, and I love the Spit Shot because that it reminds me of in the game with his uh, <laughs> his ability where it's what is it Gulp Gulp yeah. Missile I think is what it's oh, called. Ah, ah, God, very, it shoots it out. Very yeah. fun. Awesome. See, so let's uh, these bad boys up. Got some of those pennies. Oh uh, yeah. Get cool. in the next pack. Another white code. Oh, I got a green. I don't think I'll. Uh, 
I think I'll just breeze through greens. Okay. We don't we don't got anything fun to look at there. We got a reverse Rotom bike and 120 for one grass on a basic. Dang. And then a Giga Hammer 200 during your next turn. Pokemon, this Pokemon can't use Giga Hammer. Giga, Giga Hammer for 200. That's pretty good. Mm. Uh, still do some switch out mm. shenanigans and get some fun though. Mm. Even just a oh, one off in rotation. Go. We got a white. What'd you say, four? Yeah, four to the front. Damn. Water energy. White as well. Dang. Oh, here's a good card. Ordinary good Rod. Score bunny and Boltund. Bolt Interesting. Boltund, hollow, big bite, 50. To your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Ooh, not a bad uh, fighting fangs though. Doing an extra 90 if it is a GX or V Pokemon. Ooh. So one, 180 damage for only three attachment. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go through my white code that I had. The big charm, Sea King, Thwacky, Baltoy, Chinchu, Sizzlepeed. Green Zigzagoon code. reverse. Love that Zigzagoon. He no, is so that, he just looked like a reverse. I'm not used to these reverses yet. Gla Gossifleur reverse into Torkoal oh. the full art. Full art. That's a boy right there. Let's check, take a better look at that. Yep. And I only got a green code, so we don't really got anything except oh the, the rare candy. The rare reverse candy, rare candy. Very nice. to look at there. But so combustion pillar 90 plus. Discard the top card of your deck if this card is fire energy. This attack does 90 more damage. Interesting. Uh, then the Steam Crush for 120. Discard two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Whoa! Whoa. That is not 120, bad. 120, discard two energy? Two energy is pretty key, because just getting one off, I feel like, is never worth it. Usually, Oh, just, yeah, but two is big. Getting that two, it's, it definitely disrupts the energy flow of the game, so. That's big. Interesting. Very big, very huge. We'll see if he comes in. I mean, we got, we know we got Welder, so. I just got a green, green here. Green here as well. Wooloo, Roserade. Score money, you got that crow gunk. Oh, Corviknight. Corviknight, that's 170 boy. stage two, that is a lot of HP. That is. Interesting. Very fun. Green code here, we got, uh, is that, that is a reverse Zigzagoon this time. That they is actually a, a reverse. That is an actual reverse. Got system. another green here. And terrible at keeping that on camera. <laughs> reverse Rotom Bike. And an Evolution Incense, another that's strong card we're seeing coming in. I got a white code here. Here we go. My boy, Mincino, Chinchu, Crow Gunk. White coat as well. Galarian Meowth, Score Bunny, Reverse Thwacky, and Bolton. A different art hollow. Got, oh, so they got two That's different attacks. Unique. He's got a 160 attack here. And, and they're totally two, di and, yeah, totally two different, different cards. Wow. You see it commonly in, in Pokemon before, but I don't know that we've seen two of the Crushing different Crushing Hammer hollows. getting printed again. I'm, I'm a big fan of Crushing Hammer. You remember back in the day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a white here. Mud's Tail and Keldeo oh, V. Oh, Keldeo V. So got that Secret success. Sword reprint. Again, we're just seeing it doing uh, 30 times for each water rather than the old uh, 20 times for each water um, on the EX Keldeo that we used to see. So just a little bit more damage kind of updated to the times, and it's going to be... Probably paired with that Frost Moth if I had to oh, guess. Yeah. Uh, coming oh, up. So yeah, absolutely. You get, get some huge knockouts with uh, just a ton of energy flood. Probably see a Fisherman or something like that to get some energy back. There's my white coat I had on mine here. Team Yelgrunt, Maractus, Pikachu. I like the Pikachu art. They always do a fantastic job. Pikachu, Green Glaring Power. Meowth, Sizzlepeed, Wooloo. Ooh, a reverse hollow Cinderace. And. Ooh. Regirock V, uh, 220 HP, Raging Hammer, 30 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Rocky Attack for 190. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. Very nice. Interesting. Good fighting type. See some, probably some important weaknesses coming up with, oh, yeah. with fighting, I would think. And at, speaking of weaknesses, we also had a change up to the weaknesses. Yeah, 30 for, oh, what do we got? Green coat, I guess. I got a white on mine here. Yeah, so we got the... Big change up coming with that resistance being 30 now mm -hmm. rather than 20. So we should be seeing at least resistance meaning a little bit more, hopefully, right. as well as some of those damage reducing effects, hopefully kind of being paired together. Reverse Roselia into Ooh. my boy, Hollow Gang. There he is. Life Shaker, as often as you like, you may, uh, during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your psychic Pokemon to another psychic Pokemon. I think this is meant to synergize with that new Wobbuffet who swaps oh, damage there's counters. that Mencino. Yes. Green. 
Reverse Double. Galarian Meowth into Masharna. White code. Oh, I got a green. <laughs> Sorry. I know you took all the goods. I guess so. Look at that Rapidash. It's so pretty. Beautiful. <laughs> Q-Fant, Baltoy, Chinchu, Sizzlepeed, Versudo, and a Ooh, regular hollow. Look at that hollow. Once your turn, you may switch a card from... This is that card. That same one. Yeah. I like that. It's a different art. I like it. I think it might be paired with uh, some of that Mag Cargo. Oh, that we saw yes. before where it's like the, if it's an energy, when you discard, it does more damage or whatever. Right. From the top, you could definitely do some fun shenanigans. I got a white coat here. Hopefully, I get something cool. Yeah, we yeah. have not seen any gold or Nothing some. insane uh, yet. Just that Torkoal so far. Hopefully, we get something cool. Going down, what's our? We got a reverse. Krabby reverse and okay. Sableye. Sableye V. Interesting. Sableye V. We got that load search. Load? Load? Yeah, load. L O D E. Put a trainer card from your discard into your hand. Interesting. Not bad. Crazy Claws, too dark. This attack does 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active. Whoa, so it's a it's an execution big. That's type big. of mechanic. Very cool. It's gonna hurt a lot. 60 for each damage counter? 60 for each damage counter. That is I, big. I, I, as I was saying, I know what it feels like using ear kinesis for 20 for each damage right. counter, and how many knocks I get off that. Just 30 Holy damage mac. on it becomes one, 190 because it's 10 plus. You got a reverse mud bray and a cloister on that green code. Four damage on a tag team, and you're almost dead. Yeah, it's nuts. Green or white code here. I got a green. I'll get through mine real quick. Reverse Cinderace and, ooh, Sensino with the make do. Nice. See what you got. Eldegoss. Burn through some of these quick ones. Reverse potion and, and another Bolton. <laughs> I guess he is just wanting to play today. I guess that's what we're going to get. I got a white coat here. Put four to the front. Three packs left on my side. I've got, yeah, about the same. Yep, three packs here as well. Let's see what we get here white. in this white code. Dark energy. Reverse Santaconda and. Ooh, Marnie. Hollow Marnie. Wow. What's up, Marnie? How you doing, girl? Hollow Marnie. Reverse double and. Gengar. My boy Gengar again. <laughs> Interesting. Green code. I got a reverse Skaroopy. Snorlax with a billion energy to do anything. <laughs> Green Team code as guys. well. Reverse Sobble. Can't be mad at that. Right? We got a white code coming in hot here. What'd you name your your uh, starter? What did I name my starter? You know? I don't remember what I what I named it to. I definitely did name him though. I've got a white here. I named mine Burner. I chose Score Bunny. But uh I saw the Sobble and it reminded me of Rachel's. She named her Saul. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing hammer reverse into oh, Celebi V. Nice. And Very nice. my last Berserker. Excellent. Celebi, find a friend, search your deck for up to two Pokemon and uh, reveal them. Put them in your hand, shuffle your deck. Two Pokemon. A lot I wish of it would Pokemon go onto your bench, but I guess you'd still get those active from the hand effects that way. So yeah. you could search for a Dedenne or something like that. Last pack, it's a white code. What do we got? Is this it? Is that the that's the is sauce this the boy pack? here? Is this what 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 we're what we're waiting for? The last pack of both of our sides of packs? Can it be? The one pack to rule them all. The one pack to rule them all. Reverse Masharna and Ooh, not bad. Ooh, is that a full, full art, art? Yeah, full art stone journer. Full art stone journer. Or is that I think all the V Maxes have this same look. If Do I'm, they the same kind of like? I think the same like full art type of look like that. I think they're. So we got Stone Gift. Attach a Fighting Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, heal 120 damage from that Pokemon. Nice. So it's you get to Energy Ramp, which is tough on fighting, and, and heal. heal. They got Max Rockfall for 200. What a boy. What a boy. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this video of opening 10. Hope you liked it. Yes, 10 Sword and Shield uh, pre-release kits, aka 
building battles as they're known now. Yep. Please, if you would, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. Consider coming to the next pre-release if you're in town. Yeah, we'll see you then. Bye.